60 minutes overtime. This week on 60 Minutes, we reported on Eurovision, the annual song contest that uh, sweeps Europe every spring. And we went to Iceland for Song for Kepnin. Don't you know you make me feel bad? To see who they're going to send to represent Iceland at the Eurovision finals with this year are in Turin. Iceland has never won Eurovision, and despite that lack of success, this country is absolutely gaga for this contest. Gudni Johannesson is the president of Iceland. Give us a sense of what percentage of Iceland is going to be watching the finals. In 2019, 98.4% of the population were watching. Uh, and the other 1.6% uh, were probably asleep after a difficult day at work or something. In Europe, 180 million people will watch Eurovision. There are very few rules intentionally. You just need a three-minute song. Tell me about your song. What's it about? Um, it's called Fall Enough. Um, which actually translates to then again. We made actually an English version too, but we love the Icelandic ly lyrics so much because it's, it's just much more intricate. And it's, it's more of a beautiful journey to it. Um, and also we love the um, Icelandic F, F and the R. Those sounds are always quite pretty. One of the contestants, Katla, worked out her butterflies by teaching us the word. It's butterfly, which is fiddle. Roll, roll the R. Kind of. That's a bit French, but I like it. How much of this is about the song, and how much of this is the presentation and the stagecraft and your your attire? I think everything in this matters because um, it's Eurovision. I mean, that's a show. Backstage was sort of a combo of being in a locker room before a game and, and backstage at, at a big concert. There was a lot of tension, there was a lot of glitter, and there was also a lot of collegiality. I mean, this was a competition, ultimately. Only one winner was going to advance, but there was very little competitiveness. And I thought um, I Iceland really encapsulated the whole competition. <laughs> This year, big upset with three sisters advancing to Turin, but this absolutely captivated Iceland, and now the finals will absolutely captivate Europe. Ethan.